which so i'll stick here and just dab my toe in there every now and then oh that's new you mad can't... that its head is in the ground <laughs> that's what I'm like and like they need to have some sort of action where it rolls up and like spins around like sonic the hedgehog or something that would be so cool um i recently well last year actually picked up g1 springer and i never had it as a kid so i was really excited and it's a terrible figure <laughs> <laughs> And that is TFCon actually has a shirt I want, and it's for Toronto. Every time we've gone to <laughs> TFCon, it has been Optimus Prime, Optimus Prime. And I'm like, I don't want no Optimus Prime shirt. <laughs> With that awkward ending, let's move So this <laughs> is on Dino Force. Hey, welcome back, BVC fans. It's your boy, Bot, a.k.a. Bobby here. And it's your con, James. And James happens to be on vacation. This time around, it's not me out of out of studio. <laughs> yes, so I am out and about doing what people do, which is sit in their hotel rooms and record videos for you guys. So <laughs> let's get on with the news. Bobby has control today. So, you know, let us know how you like that. And we'll get on with everything. All right, so let's jump into some leaks. Oh, wow. So there was a big leaks, I guess, that came out for the Uni line. Still, we don't know if it's Universe or Unity or, you know, whatever it's going to be. So the first one is Cyber, Cyber Hotshot is what they're calling it. So people are assuming it's Cybertron Hotshot. So I put a picture of Cybertron Hotshot, but I don't know if it's going to be this one or the other one. Um, Cybertron Defense Hotshot. I'm hoping for the Cybertron Defense Hotshot because it's just a more interesting alt mode. <laughs> but this is what that one is. Do you have any um, desire to get this? Not at all. Yeah, I, I'm, I think I have the original Hotshot from Armada. And that was it. Actually, no, I take and I got I think I got a uh, RID as Robots in Disguise as well. I think those are the two hot shots I got, and I think I was done with hot shot by then. <laughs> so I'm gonna get it because I like the color scheme. I think it's really cool. And I would encourage you to get it too, because it's a unique color scheme that you don't see very often. But then again, you might as well probably get the original figure because it might be better than the new Hasbro figure. <laughs> I have to see it. I mean, yeah, you, we, we never know. It could be yeah. something completely different. It's a cyber hot shot and it's, you know, like what they did with Shadow Striker and it's somebody completely different. So, I was, it, I mean, maybe they'll, maybe they'll repaint Scourge as him now since they're seem to like using that Scourge mode so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so much, that Scourge model so much. Yeah. Um, it still bothers me, but yeah, so um, I know the one thing that I am excited about is an updated version of that Springer, which I recently, well, last year actually picked up G1 Springer and I never had it as a kid. So I was really excited and it's a terrible figure. <laughs> 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 you know, being again, you know, eight, nine, ten year old Bobby would have loved it, thought it was the best thing. Now it's just like, wow, this was this is really bad. They've done a, a tremendous amount of engineering since then. So, yes. yes. And this is the 86 Springer. Honestly, I think it's just going to be Siege Springer re released. I think so too. I, I mean, and I'll be upset about that. I actually, yeah. I would like something more, but I don't see them doing more. I mean, it's Hasbro we're talking about now. Yeah, and I think they, didn't they release? They released the toy colors and the tune colors. The toy colors were like the Wrecker, Amazon thing right, going but, on. But yeah. I mean, and, and not only that, but I think they, didn't they do like a Springer for Siege and then maybe another one for like Kingdom or something like that? I don't think so. Because I, I, I know I have two of them. 
and I didn't get the wrecker one. So I don't know if I just bought two Springers. Maybe that was the case. <laughs> well, fans, let us know if yeah. Bobby got two Springers or if he actually has two different Springers. It yeah. could go either way with Bobby. Yeah, so. I think that for some reason, either I, I thought they were in, maybe they were in different packages. I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. Um, so before we talk about this last video, let's talk about the ones that aren't pictured here. We've also got rock number three. Who is excited for rock number three? I know I am. That is a cool name. Um, let's see. We've got strong arm package refresh. So we've already talked about strong arm. I think I think they showed her off at the last fan stream. So we might actually see her next week. Yes. Um, so this is going to be a package refresh. And then lastly, we've got a core class TF four steel jaw. So these are um, lockdowns dogs. So. There you go. If you wanted them, you can get them. So now let me talk about this last figure that I put on here. So we have a leader class sound wave, which I find very interesting. And it is in the uni, not the other one. So we don't know what it is. Everybody's thinking it's G1 sound wave. I'm hoping it's Machine War sound wave because we already have G1 sound wave. Let's get something else. And Machine War sound wave, I hate to break it to you, Bobby. That was my first sound wave. Right here. This is what Soundwave was for me when I was a kid. Um, so I want it. <laughs> but And it's a cool alt mode. So I just don't want it to be a double dealer. <laughs> that's, like, that's a double dealer to me. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't know who came out first. I'm going to be honest with you. Not, As, not this mold, but the original mold of this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so... I don't know either. I don't. I actually don't have this. I'm th I don't think I have this character. Uh, I don't think you have the mold because the mold was a um, G one late G one. Um, what's that called? Um, Euro G one type of thing. So it was never released in the U S. And then this one was Machine Wars, which is when I think you were completely out of collecting. I think, yeah, I actually, you know. I think I might have had one or two machine wars, but it was on my way out of collecting. So, and I and I don't have any of those figures any any longer. So I I don't think I have this mold. So it's it's actually it's one of the few that I still have, and it's actually a really good generation one toy. Just as a toy itself, don't worry about the character or who it's supposed to be. As a fun toy, it transforms fun. It's easy, and I think both molds are actually really competent. Compared to the Springer that it's, it's next to. No no hate towards Springer. I mean, that's there's about five to ten years in between these two. So, yeah, that, that's, you know. Man, I, I was I was so excited when I opened that package up. And I was just like, yes. And then I pulled it out. I was like, no. no. <laughs> so, yeah. So those are all of the leaks without pictures. So why don't we move on to some of the leaks that we actually have pictures of. So the first one is Core Snarl. We all know this guy was coming. And I've got to say, the bot mode is one of the best so long with Swoop. I'm not going to pick it up, so don't get your hopes up. But I do think it looks rather competent compared to the rest of the team. I, I, I can't, can't disagree with you. I, yeah. I really like this one, surprisingly. And that would be a desk bot right there yes it, it looks fun and i love how cute the little armadillo is it looks more like an armadillo to me than a and then a um stegosaurus so i'm just mad just... that its head is in the ground <laughs> that's what it is. like i'm like they need to have some sort of action where it rolls up and like spins around like sonic the hedgehog or something that would be so cool um but i do have to say it makes a horrible foot oh my god that is that... <laughs> What is going on here? <laughs> that is terrible. That combiner is horrid. I still have it better than Masterpiece Raiden, though. <laughs> it looks like more fun. I, you know what? The, okay, so I was a big, you know, fan of Legos when I was a kid. And I used to, you know, maybe build some of the cars and then... I, I'd take some extra Lego pieces and clip them on, and that way I could form a combiner with them. I was pretty good at doing that. And this literally looks like one of the my first attempt 
to make the cars combine and decided to leave it that way and never try it again. This looks terrible. The, it, the I, I look like blocks. I the, think their intentions are really pure. I think the designers had a lot of thought and they really tried to make a good product. I think what really threw this off was budgeting. They couldn't make it half feet. They couldn't put it with the paint that it needed to. Um, they couldn't give some of the people's elbows, you know. So I honestly think that this is a budgeting issue. And if we were able to say, here, here's double the budget, we would have had an amazing Legends combiner. Um, so that's my two cents. I just wish they wouldn't have done it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, six other core class people would have been a lot better if we could have got like, I don't know, some Sharkticons or yeah. something else or, you know, some weird mini cons maybe to go with, you know, the Armada people that they're coming out with that have no mini cons. Oh my um, god. This is this is really bad. I mean, it's really bad. And no offense to anybody that's picking this up or or think this is a great figure. I just think that and it, it's I ironic because I'm actually playing with Minasaur right now. I'm actually doing some things with them. So I have them right here. But it's not to say that it has to be on the same level because, as you mentioned, it's a different price point. Just don't do it. <laughs> like, just, <laughs> well, just stop. You know, it's a great idea. Yeah. Say, you know what? When we have the budget, we'll go ahead and do it. Let's just release them as individual figures that don't combine. Or or add two more figures for feet. Or or goodness, add add something. That looks I don't think he has any weapons either. He has a sword in his hand. No, I don't think the combiner has any weapons. Well this combiner has a sword in its hand. It does? Yeah, on the Where? right. And swoops hand and, and it's a little sword. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 I mean, what's what's really bad about it he has a dagger and because i always have i it seems like I, I i swear i didn't plan this this what the weapon looks like in his hand is <laughs> exactly don't mess with me <laughs> i have tweezers you know and that's what it looks like it's, it looks like, like he's holding some tweezers i didn't like. even notice it <laughs> so. and and then he looks like he's he he looks like he's bad with it too like okay what do you say something what's gonna do yeah. <laughs> say I don't got feet. Say I'm ugly. Say I'm ugly again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yes, okay. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm stunned. This, this looks like a, a, a KO. This looks like a, a bad, bad KO. Well, you know, I've gone off on a few of these Hasbro figures, and now it's your turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. They're not even lazy. They're sleep. They were super good. <laughs> they, they were like, you know what? we have to get something out. Let me take a drink. And they weren't drinking water. Mm -hmm. I got it. Let's do the Dinobots. Yeah. And we'll make them look like this. <laughs> Terrible. Yes. All right. So yeah. let's get on to some repaints. So these are very blurry images from, I'm assuming, the Walmart uh, systems. So we've got the Jazz that we already saw, as well as the Mirage that we already saw, and the Dead End, and the Tiger, not Tiger Stripe, we've got the G2 Sideswipe, as well as what the last one was, not Road Rocket, it was another Jazz, I believe. The Motorcycle, the, motorcycle. the name escapes me. But it, it's like, I think it's a Cyber Jazz or something like that. So... I think we've already talked about the ones we're interested in. And I do like that jazz. I like the dead end. I like the sideswipe. I like the mirage. Don't like the motorcycle. <laughs> From what I see, who knows? Maybe we're going to see it and it has like this cool tattoo design all over it. But these images aren't selling it because that was not my favorite mold. I got it as Road Rocket and Flame War. And it is not my favorite mold. Yeah. I still haven't opened up my road rocket <laughs> as I look on my shelf. You're not missing much. So um, Flame War was much better, but it was also $45 for a deluxe. Gosh, so did I, did I get that one? 
the shattered glass. I think I did get it. I don't remember. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's a much better one, but again, it was $45, which is ridiculous for a deluxe, but it's a Decepticon fan bot, so I had it. Right. So, yeah. I'm excited about that that side swipe too. That, it looks really good. I like yeah. those colors on it. Yeah. yeah. I actually just if that is the um, Earthrise mold, not the Siege mold, I actually just got that as red alert. I found it. <laughs> I found it randomly in a Walgreens and picked it up. Oh, look at you! Yeah, yeah. Red alert's my favorite of that body type. When you don't count all the weird different repaints. So. Yeah, I, I go with the original side swipe love love the lambos so mm -hmm. so yeah so we'll see if we can pick these up i don't think they're going to be as popular as the other ones so i like that well these are your crazy repaints that you're always talking about i just like the characters i'm always in for i'm a sucker for a minosaur um so those g2 ones were already going to happen and jazz was one of my favorite autobots um just really i thought his voice was cool so um don't really love the orange, but I'll probably pick it up anyway. And the side swipe and mirage are just gonna happen anyway. I like those. I feel you. I might pick up the last one just to complete the set, but we'll see. Yeah. All right, let's go on to the next ones. So let's get on to what has been just announced. So let's start off with something that I think you need to buy. Let's go. Here we go. Rise of the Beast steel cases. Really? Yeah, why not? I need to buy it? Yeah. It's not my movie. It's more your movie. That's your prime. Those are look at all those beasts around it. Those are <laughs> that's all you. This movie is named for <laughs> okay, you. Rise I, I of the say, Beast. I, I do really think that insert is really cool. I do like that. It's a really cool design. I just didn't like the movie enough to buy any physical media of it. No, literally, literally the prime popcorn holders, the two that I got, I'm good. I, yeah, I'm good. Really good. I I pushed it with those. <laughs> you did. <laughs> and I'm not searching. I was going to buy one if I saw it at the theater, but when I couldn't get it at the theater, I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, literally. The, the things I do for this channel, I swear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Anything else on, on these? That no, definitely be purchasing? not. Def oh, you, <laughs> thank you for purchasing for me for Christmas. Let's keep moving. <laughs> so we got this. So we talked about this actually in 2022, the Bumblebee version. So now they're coming out with an Optimus version. So I guess the Bumblebee version sold well enough to make another go-kart. So, yeah. I'll tell you this. If I had friends that would do it, or that live close to me, I would get a go kart. I love going riding in go karts. Yeah. You know, any, anytime I go to you know some type of if I'm going out of town or you know, especially when I go down to Florida or something like that, I'm always going to um, Andretti Motor Speedways. They have some out here as well. I'm not sure if they have any where you're at, James. But you know, that's like a highlight for me. Anytime I see go karts, I'm like, yep, do. I'd yeah. have to have some people around me that would do it. I, I wouldn't just buy one that has one because it just sit in my garage. Yeah, no, um, I'm not terribly interested in it unless it transformed. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Like a go-kart transformer, like a core class go-kart go transformer would be really, really cool. <laughs> it would. Give it a new name, not Optimus Prime. Make it like, you know, go hey, or something like that. I mean, they could, you know, they can do like that one scene in the movie that I won't spoil it for since we're talking about this live. But, you know, it could be, you know, something for uh, it transforms into something for yes. a person. You are correct. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. So, <laughs> with that awkward ending, let's move on. <laughs> so we've got New Age Gorgo, which I love this thing's name. I think his name should be Gorgo in normal Transformers media. And it is a legend slag. I believe I got the Dinobots correct. I always get their names mixed up. But this looks just fine. Well, That's all I have to say. <laughs> it, it does look good. Uh, I, 
I am still trying to get my Giga Power slag. That's the only one I'm missing from that set in the MP size. Uh, I, I did pick up um, the Fans Toys version in Chicago mm-hmm. uh, last year. <sighs> I wasn't even going to mention Gosh, that yeah. that that deal. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, I, I really spent a lot on that figure, but. Um, <laughs> I like this. Slag and Swoop are, are my favorite Dinobots. Slag is, my, or the Triceratops is my favorite dinosaur. So I always took a liking to him. And this looks really, really clean. Um, really, really clean. You know, yeah. so so much so that it does. It, it looks fake. Like it doesn't look like it's going to. Ch- I, and I, know I think it's a three D model. Right. And, and I mean, you know, usually with the three D models, they you know, kind of hold some, but this looks so clean that it doesn't look like it can go from one to the other. So I really want to see what this looks like in production. I agree. So we'll, we'll keep you guys informed when we have prototype pictures. Yeah. Maybe at TFCon. We'll see. Maybe. All right. So this <laughs> is the BotCon Dino Force. So we already talked about it, and we were like, why are they called dinosaurs? They're all dogs. And I guess they're going to have another dino bot set that all combine into one monstrosity of dinosaur. Maybe it's Dino Storm. So Dino, you know, the dog Dino from whatever, I can't remember what, show was that the I, dog was dino um yeah. that's what i'm going for since it was dogs but wow that is a lot going on I, there i will say this props to them to getting some random beast box toys and figuring out that they can combine into a dinosaur that is very creative and very unique but if this was a tf con exclusive i would not buy it <laughs> this <laughs> This would be such a hard pass for me. Um, <laughs> the crazy thing is, is I, I, I've seen some of the dogs and as a dog lover, I've seen some of them and I was like, you know what? I might have actually picked this up. They look cool by themselves. If they, But I don't like that they turn into a box. Like, well, that's why I can't you know, get on with the Rock Lords as a kid. I didn't like the Rock Lords. I was like, I don't want something that looks like a box. Yeah. So I have a set of these. I have the ones that, tur- they're boxes that turn into jets. But then those two jets combine into a larger robot. So I'm able to get around that because they both have vehicle modes. And then it's like a duocon. You know, they go together, Mm -hmm. which I think is cool. And then the boxes, you know, if they're drones, they can be stored away. You know, that's my headcanon for them. (laughs) Um, But this, I I don't even know what this is. It's hard to make heads. It's like some... Eldritch Abomination coming up from the depths of Real Gay. If you guys know anything about Cthulhu mythos, it's really esoteric. D- this, woo, man, oh man. Let us know if you're going to Bakon and picking this up, though. I would love to see some in-person shots of this thing. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, oh man, woo, okay, yes. Let's, Let's move on. <laughs> move on. So this is MK Toys Jetfire. So I'm assuming this is a Legends Jetfire that is being knocked off. I don't know which one it is with tons of accessories. And if you could go to the next slide really quick. These are my favorite accessories he comes with. These are really cool. This would make a great display with all the missiles coming out of them. And it does work in jet mode as well. So, so the funny thing is, they have this for the fans toys phoenix i oh, saw really? somebody did and i think somebody also did it for the Hasbro jet fire um i think that's where i saw it first too and and i i swear i had this in my my cart to buy and i never pulled the trigger on it and i think that i think that looks amazing it was mm-hmm. one of the cool as you said in the display it would look really really cool yeah so we don't know much about it so we'll see sizing and stuff hopefully soon. And hopefully it'll be a cheap jet fire. And if it is cheap, and even if it's, you know, seven, eight inches tall, and they make it in the black deco, I would probably be interested in that. Uh, I don't believe you. After, you don't the whole, after the whole Dr. Wu fiasco, 
We don't believe you. You need more people. I need more people? The Jay-Z lyric. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got whoop over my head just like Bobby, like Cthulhu thing <laughs> right over your head. <laughs> yeah, Delta Airlines. <laughs> exactly. All right. All right so, so I don't really know what this is. <laughs> it's an MPH Studio roller, so I'm assuming it's a roller to go with some legends. It's a one to one hundred scale, and it's from their extremely small series. I don't know who MPH Studio is, but um, I'm assuming it goes with a Legends class figure. Yeah, and I know we have those other, those transforming rollers that um, I put a pre-order on. I can't remember. I did as well. Okay, I didn't know if you canceled yours or not, but... Well, I was going to cancel it and get the cartoon um, version, and um, I forgot, so hopefully I can still <laughs> go back and do that. <laughs> I saw a third color. The that comic was... version, that's the one I want. Yeah, the blue yeah. and the orange, it's just more unique. And I'm not getting it for roller. I'm getting it just to have a fun figure that's cheap. So I'm going to go back and see if I could do a switcheroo um, tonight now that I'm remembering. <laughs> now, yeah. Now, the third figure, I, I haven't seen a pre order for that. I, I don't know if it was. Oh, it, it, well, it's at least on Show Z. But we know how they are with just popping out pre orders. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I'm curious to see what this roller looks like. Um, you know, which version, which Prime, which version of Prime does that gun belong to? So a lot of questions. If anybody has any more on that, please let us know. Yep. Well, let's move on to something that's going to piss me off. And that is TFCon actually has a shirt I want, and it's for Toronto. Every time we've gone to <laughs> TFCon, it has been Optimus Prime, Optimus Prime. And I'm like, I don't want no Optimus Prime shirt. And now they have... Beast, Beast Wars Megatron, not just Megatron, at the one that I'm not going to. And I swear we're going to go to Orlando and it's going to be Optimus Prime. <laughs> and I'm going to crack up laughing if it is. <laughs> and I'm going to be so mad because this is really cool. He even has his rubber ducky. Like, you know what's funny is when I saw this a couple of days ago, I'm, I'm an NBA fan and I just thought about the Toronto Raptors, because that was their logo. Oh, is that, is that what this is going for? And so that's what I was thinking of. And then I really, when you said it, I, was, I, I saw the rubber ducky, I was like, oh, wait, that's Megatron. And and I wasn't, you know, because I don't associate that Megatron, Barney, uh, with being Megatron. And so that's hilarious. It is so funny that out of all the shows we've been to. <laughs> I am so mad. Well, you can, like, you can order one, I'm sure. I don't want a TFCon Toronto shirt. <laughs> hilarious. I'm going to even be more mad. <laughs> that is hilarious. Whatever. Oh, let's, let's move on to some updates. <laughs> Please let us know if anyone's going to TFCon in Toronto. <laughs> and don't buy this shirt in protest. <laughs> All right. Updates. <sighs> All right, we got the Nemesis up first. We've already talked this to death. Here's some pictures of it. There's more on the next slide. That that head scope, man. It's pretty cool. And I, I put these pictures in so you can see the whole thing. I still think it looks really lanky. I'm not a big fan of it. It does look pretty big. So it's either pretty big or the Megatron <laughs> Optimus are really small. I don't know what it is. That Megatron is really tiny. I mean, he, yes. he comes up to like, his head is at Optimus's waist. And that was always the thing in Armada, but I didn't never like that in Armada. I thought Megatron should be the same size as Super Mode, but that's just me. Yeah, um, gosh, I haven't, I haven't taken, I guess I haven't looked at him in so long that I didn't realize the, signif the difference was so significant. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah. It, it, it's kind of crazy how they're doing a little bit larger than Voyager sized characters as leaders. But that is a completely different debate for a completely different day. Yeah. The, the, what's at hand is what do you think of his nemesis? So the more I see it, the more I don't like it. <laughs> and I'm I mean, struggling because I want it. 
yeah, it's it's um, grape ape. I don't know if you <laughs> another grape ape. Grape, yes, yeah. You know, <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's the the female version of grape ape. Yes, and I'm. Uh, I pre-ordered it. I might cancel and wait for a sale. I don't. I don't blame you. I, I really I, don't. I think that's I, one. I'm not pre-ordering this. I'm not even going to pick it up on sale. I was very disappointed that the de- and no, no. I'm I'm talking objectively. I don't know any of the design team. I don't want to hurt their feelings, but it feels like a wasted opportunity that they could do whatever they wanted with that bot mode. They did not say this has to look like G1 Optimus Prime. This has to look like G1. They could have done anything. And they didn't put the effort to make a proportional bot. They decided to do this gangly thing. And maybe that's what they were going for. So if it is what you're going for, y'all nailed it. (laughs) Nail on the head. Um, But this ain't for me. I... I mean, and I'm trying. Like, I love, I love the ship mode. The alt mode is the ship beautiful. mode is very cool. It's beautiful. I just didn't see it transitioning into this. Uh, yeah, I think the gun looks better in her hand. Yeah, but it, that, that does that does look cool. I mean, and who knows? Maybe we're gonna get more pictures because this, to me, it has been looking better and better and better every time we see it. Um, in robot mode. Um, so who knows, maybe there's a thing where you swivel the arms up and you click them in and it, it solves it and nobody knew how to do that before. Um, so you never know. Yeah. All right. That's, um, I think I'm going to have nightmares. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> so we got this thing, which is Flame Toys for Rai Model RC. So this is a model kit that you put together. This thing looks amazing. I want to get it and repaint it. It's already a model kit. I can get it and just spray paint the pieces. I don't even need to like paint by hand and paint it as a Decepticon because this thing looks sick. It does. It really does. I I saw this and I was amazed. I was just like, wow. That looks I just wish it transformed. You, you know what? Honestly... With with the with with the way I've been spending money, I'm glad these things don't transform because I would have these as well, and that would be even more expensive. So I'm glad it doesn't transform. Well, they're only like thirty to forty bucks, so they're not expensive. And I honestly, like I'm saying, I might pick this up and do a spray paint paint job because I, one, I've never done that before, so it'd be kind of fun to do it. But two, this thing looks amazing. And if you go to the next slide. Really quick. Look at the posability on this thing. This this looks so cool. It looks really, really good. And I like that gun. The gun, yeah, the gun with the little bayonet. I like that she has her glasses. Yes. Like, yeah. And it's white plastic and pink, which is going to be easy to paint over. So, you know, this might be one of the first model kits I try to repaint. Because this, this, this is really... Shaking every mark for me. This does look good. Yeah. It it does look really good. I uh, I'm I'm I'll ride with you. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. The next thing I think you need to get though, and that is the Magic Square Onslaught. Everybody knows that you uh, are a Legends collector now that you have five of them, and you just got what your sixth one in today. Um. So, will you be getting this? No, I will not be getting this. <laughs> I, I actually don't like the way this onslaught looks. Really? So, I am the same way in the alt mode. I think the alt mode looks very flat. That's what I'm talking. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. And I don't know if that's it. cartoon accurate or not. So, please correct me in the comments. But the robot mode looks fine. I don't like the guns on the back, though. It looks like a radio backpack versus a gun turret. So, you know, the guns on the back is a G1 thing. The tr- the 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 bottom portion of the truck looks fine. It's the windows that look the like they're not, the, the, the windows in the cab look like they're short. 
you know um but and then that that gun turret looks really really huge in yeah comparison. on his back that's what i'm saying it looks well i'm talking like about a, in the alt mode i'm talking about oh alt so it's, it looks that big in the cartoon it's not necessarily i think it's a little bit more leveled off i i have to see again okay but and it's probably changed from episode to episode too. yeah i was gonna say so that's yeah. you know neither here nor there but just in the alt mode since you you mentioned that the that gun turret looks really really big it's like like overwhelming the vehicle size so that's i, I love the the posability you know yeah. the articulation i mean look at that lean that he has going on i mean that's that's you know uh going up against michael jackson's lean you know <laughs> so um that's serious right there that's some serious i mean my old age i can't make my ankles do like that i'll break them probably so <laughs> we're gonna have to see that in orlando yeah uh, <laughs> right. so, yeah it looks fine let's go on to some incoming things oh oh about this i put this in for you because i thought it was a cute picture with your two favorite combiner leaders no <laughs> Man, i'm not that much of a bruticus fan the, i know i know that's what you but said. yeah <laughs> that motor master Almost, almost got me. <laughs> All right, incoming. Uh oh, you gonna get this next one? You know what? I saw these again. Not gonna be able to do it though. Yeah. So it doesn't seem like it comes with much. So if you go to the next slide, this is everything it comes with, yeah. which it helps the figure, but I don't think it helps the figure like some of the other upgrade sets did. This is more just an aesthetic thing, while some of the other ones fixed major flaws in the figures. Right, a lot of a lot of them had you know plugs for like the yeah. waffles on the arms or legs or something like that. But yeah, this, I don't know how much this one's gonna cost, but this is. I don't probably... remember. I, I think it was only. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on this. I think it was like twenty five, which isn't bad. Isn't bad. They're usually um, forty. Yeah, and it, might, and it might be that much, but I think I saw. 25 or so but again if you if you really need it it's there and i think that's cool yeah i i'm still waiting on the death source to come out yes i cannot wait for that so, so i can have the two looking at each other from across the room i just need an evil <laughs> robot chicken on my on my <laughs> on my shelf <laughs> are you gonna be getting this <laughs> to go blaster it's the fourth party um grand slam and rain dance as far as shows he's calling them. so you know what the funny thing is is that i was actually looking for this today and i couldn't <laughs> pull it up I was literally going to order this today and oh. the link took me to somewhere else. And I was just like, what's going on here? And I couldn't go back to the link. I couldn't find it. So I will be picking this up. I actually have the KFC version of this and MP scale. And it's pretty terrible. Um, <laughs> That's why I never picked it up. <laughs> it, it, it's pretty terrible. The, you know, the, the guns don't stick onto the arms and yeah, it's, pretty terrible but i never had this as a as a kid so i'll go ahead and pick it up just for the sake of having the g1 toy that and i, I love the tapes so yes. and i think these are really cool and innovative tapes um i hope a better masterpiece version comes out eventually looking at you ocular max slash mmc you know what oh man yeah i would absolutely. buy those i didn't buy the rewind i won't buy the reject eject <laughs> reject but i will buy this um i do want the that jaw. Was rosanna though the steel so, jaw was great steel jaw was really cool all of them have been cool they're just not characters that i'm willing to yeah. spend that I much love money the size on. i love the yeah, size exactly yeah so yes i will be picking this up will you be picking this up no oh look at you not picking something up I'm not picking it up either. I was going to pick it up. The the price is is right. Price is right. Yeah. In comparison to the new age. 
um, which is what you were referring to that I got today. <laughs> um, it's about half the price, which is very good. And it's actually, a, you know, a scaled down version of uh, the DX9 Gabriel. And I do like that figure as well. Uh, I just saw a review on the original one, and I don't know if they fixed some of the parts that, you know, there was like some, um, uh, I can't, ratchet issues that I saw on the review. And so I don't know if they fixed it or not. If they did, then I probably will pick this up. But I actually just bought the new age. <laughs> <laughs> there's that legend collector and bobby coming out so now i have i will have three of the legends on mega supreme so and i'm done i just really never had the these colors for omega supreme so so <sighs> i have two of them because you have Bro. the hasbro version as well shoot <laughs> Uh, I forgot about that. I did just get that too. So this was literally the the last three months have been Omega Supremes for me. I think I have I've one, two, three, four, five. I, I think I've got six Omega Supreme. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I don't yeah. think you were even expecting that. Wasn't. All right, moving on. All right. So next we've got New Ages Agamemnon, which is a really cool name for Megatron. And this is their Legends Megatron. So the normal one is um, the one that's not shiny. And then they, I think that's supposed to be a toy version, which is the limited Heinkie, Heinkel. It's the Heinkel Megatron. Everybody knows Heinkel. And that's Heinkel right there. Um, Heinkel's looking really good. I do actually really like that paint job. <laughs> it looks really snazzy. That looks amazing. I wish yeah. the G1 toy look like that oh my god that g1 toy who was terrible <laughs> and it's definitely a, a victim of its times yes uh, but, but i think this is cool it is it really is and again if i had the space for legend scale i would definitely do it and i know a lot of people are getting out of the mp scale to go to new uh go to the legend scale I'm just too invested in the MP side to to make that switch. So I'll s stick here and just dab my toe in there every now and then. Oh, that's new. You're dabbing your toe in every no. I was right. Let's let's move on. Let's move on to something that I think you should get then. <laughs> this Magic Squares Cyclonus and um uh what's his name? Farrick. Um you got the other guy. Um, let's contact MH Toys to get that fans toys in those colors. If uh, if 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 fans toys or the knockoff um, Hurricane came in these colors, yeah, this would be. I'd buy it in a heartbeat. Yeah, this this would be another one. Either one. If fans toys did it, I'd buy it at fans toys prices. If the KO did it, I definitely buy it in the KO prices. I we've talked before. I have nothing wrong with fan stories. They just don't make the figures that I want. Yeah. Um, this would be a figure that I want. So yes, I love that. Ooh, beautiful. Oh my Something God. else that's beautiful is transmetal to Cheetor. So I like this thing a lot. Um, I, you know, you know what I'm going to say, right? If you repaint it as some other character that I probably don't know about. Well, you do know about this character because it's a G1 character. Shadow, no, Ravage or something yes. like that. I'm going to yeah. wait for it to be repainted. Or they call him Tri-Predicus Agent, but it's Ravage. Um, I just don't want two of this thing. I have nowhere to put this. I have no Masterpiece Maximals. I really like it. But repainted in black and I might buy a black cat. I had, used to have a black cat when I was a kid. That was my pet growing up. So I might buy two of them, honestly. But, like, one to just have in remembrance of Harry. Harry? Who I, yes, I called him Harry because I was three years old when I got him, and he was actually Harry. <laughs> and now you're Harry. 
<laughs> I have to t- I, I have to honor him somehow. Yeah, exactly. And the fat just like him too. <laughs> the the crazy thing is this actually looks realistic for what it is like the the yeah. face and everything the way the mask is or w- not a mask but whatever that is the the silver versus the oh the yeah color yeah. It, it it looks like he's wearing a mask it looks real uh very realistic not a fan of the character i do remember him in an episode because um didn't Cheetor turn into him or something like that? This is Cheetor. Yeah. So um, I can't remember how or why, but yeah, I didn't really yeah. like that. But it is, for what it is, it's a good resemblance of the character. So yeah. I can see you picking this up. I think you should pick up. And honestly, up. you know, if we go to TFCon and it's the last day and I don't have anything else... I might just pick it up. But again, I really want the black version of this because the black and gold, so it's black fur with gold is the shiny parts, looks really, really slick. Oh, I'll see it when you open it. If if they have it. So All right. All right well, let's move on to two things that I know you're picking up. So here we go. I'm sure you've already paid for this already, right? Um not yet, actually. No, oh, really? Okay. Not yet. It hasn't. Uh, it hasn't been um, released for me to pay up to pay off. Oh. Yet. Well, it says incoming right now, so you're gonna get a leg soon or a foot soon. So. Yes, because I I did just get um, I did just pay off the razor claw and the foot. So I have to say, I want you to transform this into the pants mode. And just put it on the normal Predaking so it looks like he's wearing gold <laughs> swim trunks. <laughs> As he's going to the beach. You know what's funny? I actually was thinking about mix and matching <laughs> in the combiner yeah. mode to see how it would look. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I haven't got there good. yet, but that would be funny to see the gold shorts. Right. I mean, again, I've and what's really funny, I've opened one of these and and displayed it but i haven't opened the other ones i have yet so i'm behind you so definitely I will, are i will get on that yes so we got to see that soon yes i think you are getting this next thing too oh yeah yeah, yeah. right yeah yeah so this is fans toys the japanese toy colors of astro train and i've got to say this actually looks really nice too um I know the other ones, the U.S. colors are on sale, and I don't. I, I honestly don't know which one I would get if I was to get one. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't need two white Astro trains. I don't need one. The two two Astro trains in general on any of my shelves. He's not my favorite character, um, but this does look really slick. I just wish it had more paint. On like the arms and the torso area. I know it's probably not accurate, but I think a little bit of red or purple just to break it up would look very nice. These are just great figures. Uh, I actually, so ironically enough, this is on its way. And finally, 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 I get the replacement part for my fans' toys jazz as well. And so those are both on their way and I'm really excited about it. So I will have three astral trains, which allows me to put one in each mode. That's cool. Yeah. I think this one has some really good alt modes compared to the other, at least the toy version. I can't remember the tune version, but this will, these alt modes look very good, especially that train. Yeah. I think I'm, I, I think I'm going to have the uh, original purple one, have that in bot mode and then have this one, or the U.S. version. I don't know. One of them is going to be in train, and one's going to be in shuttle mode. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So, we will see. And let's. Why don't we move on to what's been recently released? All right. So the first thing is this, which caught us by surprise, or at least me and me by surprise. So it's the Divine Shooter by Make Toys. I don't know if this is legit or a knockoff because it's only sixty eight ninety nine. I really don't know. Um, 
it wouldn't matter to me if I wanted it, but <laughs> I don't have the black version, so I'm not going to get this. So if they came out with it, with it, then you would pick it up. Um, honestly, I don't know because I think I'd just rather search out the fans hobby one, yeah. the black version. Yeah. Yeah, I I got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> you can say we that. first met. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, moving on. I know this is all you right here. Well, I already have it. Oh, okay. Yes, it's Mocha. We talked about that they were doing a re-release. It's out now. If you don't have her and you're into Fembots, get this. I think it's a great figure. Um, transformations, a little parts for Marie and stuff like that. But if you think of, if you separate it from a Transformer perspective and think of it more like a um, action figure that happens to turn into a car, it's a great figure. Yeah, I have the... Um... The KO Catwoman, right? The Catwoman and the Alicia one. one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need a bunny ears. I don't need a Playboy bunny. The, you know I like my black repaints. So the moment they showed this, instead of RC, and it has pauldrons, and it had a different stuff on it, and it has all these tampos all over it, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's what I, that, that's way cooler than RC. So It, it does look good, though. I can't yeah. lie. All right. This so is this... A is a fourth party Revenge of the Fallen DLX Optimus Prime. It's 11.2 inches tall. Diecast has modified head. So I'm assuming it's more movie-like and it has posable hands. Um, I'm assuming this is a KO of the Masterpiece um, one. So if you guys are still looking for something, here you go. <laughs> Yeah, if you're just looking for something, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, I, I like mean, the words. I I can't well, I can't stand how he's holding them because in the movies they come out of his arm. He doesn't hold them like that, and it just looks wrong after seeing him for what a decade with them coming out of his arm. I forgot about that. I'm sure they do clip on, and this is just like a copyright. Oh look, it's not the same exact thing type of thing. But yeah, uh, I I like the way that you look. They do look cool. Yeah. That's about it. Not my prime. And then the next one I put in just for you. It looks like they're doing a re release of Purple Potato. This was your first um, introduction to third party, if I remember correctly. It so was. you could relive it and get a second one so you could have them in both modes. The transformation on this thing, especially at the time, I was like, what in the world is going on? <laughs> it. You have to do, and I can't. I, I literally transformed them into the ship mode, into the nemesis, and um, not the nemesis. Um, was it the nemesis? Galvatron ship, right? Galvatron ship with yeah. the ring around it. With the ring, yeah. Yeah. Um, I thought that was. I don't. Wasn't that called the? No, nemesis? no. The nemesis looks like the 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 girl that we just looked yeah, at. Yeah, but that I, I, I look like this. Video. Yeah, I can't remember the name of that ship, but anyway, yeah. So I I I kept kept it in that that uh ship mode and i haven't transformed it in two years now i guess or three years going on three years i think i've been heavily into or yeah two and a half years for for third party but love the figure once you figure out what's going on with the arms then you're good but i do like the i forgot what the shockwave looked like actually yeah and i'm gonna be honest i don't have a shockwave um and this, the price is right. It's only about a hundred, so um, cheaper than what I paid for it. <laughs> so I ain't gonna make any promises since you don't believe me no more. But you know, <laughs> I'm looking at it. We'll just say that. I think you should get it. I, I mean, would would you keep it in robot mode? Robot mode. I want. I would. I need a shockwave. You know, okay. especially now with my head cannon with another one of my characters, which. We don't need to go into because that's going to, I'm going to go off on a tangent. Um, I need a shockwave to be the evil scientist who cloned Grimlock. Okay. I think you should get yeah. it then. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I, I'm looking at all the shockwaves and like the G1 shockwave looks a little boring. And this one has just that much of an edge that I like. Yeah. I don't like that he turns into that ship, but I can forgive it at the same time. Yeah. That ship, that ship is amazing. It's looked beautiful though. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. 
All right. Well, that's everything we have for you today. So like, comment, and subscribe. Please forgive any hiccups that we have. <laughs> this is new. So um, we'll see you guys really soon. And please, again, click that bell for notifications. Definitely love seeing the comments. You know, so keep them coming. And we'll see you next time. And as always, till all debates are won.